Hello, my name is April Ho. I'm a registered dietitian with the Center for Community Health and Prevention. And I am excited because this month is National Nutrition Month. And this year's theme is sharing flavors from around the world. And this theme is near and dear to my heart because my husband and his family are from Hong Kong. And so I have had the pleasure of enjoying a lot of Cantonese cooking in my household. And I've even gotten to experiment with some Cantonese cooking myself. So I'm excited to share one of my favorite recipes that my mother-in-law makes with you guys, um, which is soy sauce chicken wings. And the recipe is linked below. But what I wanted to share in this video was simply some of the ingredients that you'll be cooking with and um, how, to, how to prepare them in a way that's authentically Cantonese. One of the ingredients that you'll be cooking with is ginger, which I have here. And it's probably not uh, a super foreign ingredient to you. You've probably used it at some point before. But whenever I see American bloggers who post Chinese recipes, um, something I notice is that they usually have a lot of very finely grated or diced ginger. And that is a very American approach to cooking with this Chinese ingredient. So in this recipe, you will be using ginger that looks like this. It's just a, 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 a cross-sectional cut. Um, a slice of piece of, a slice of ginger that is about the size of my thumb. So it'll call for four pieces of ginger like this. And um, you will notice that the flavor is not overpowering, but these four little pieces of ginger will effectively flavor the entire dish. Um, so they go in in the beginning and then they kind of flavor the sauce around the chicken wings, which are kind of braised for about 20 minutes. Uh, so that's the ginger. Another ingredient that you'll be using is scallions. And I see a very similar um, approach to using scallions in the American blogs, which is that they dice them up and they mix them all in with the rest of the ingredients. And there's a lot of it. And this recipe calls for only the white parts of the onions and they are diced into one inch chunks. So when um, you're preparing the green onion, it will look like this. And you'll only be using this much from each stock and it calls for three stocks. Um, so again, it'll be thrown in with the ginger, it'll be lightly pan fried and then it'll continue to flavor the sauce as the chicken wings are braising. The next ingredient is dark soy sauce. And a lot of Americans aren't really even aware that there's multiple kinds of soy sauce, but there are hundreds of kinds of soy sauce. And um, light soy sauce is the soy sauce that you probably have in your pantry right now and the one that's most readily available. But dark soy sauce is also available in a lot of grocery stores. I know Wegmans carries it. It looks like this. And as you can see, if I tip the bottle, right, it's a lot thicker. It stays on the side of the bottle. Um, it's a lot richer flavor and you don't need a lot of it. So there's only about two tablespoons um, that goes in this sauce that makes two pounds of chicken wings. It's a very rich flavor and it's my favorite kind of soy sauce to use. The last ingredient that I wanna highlight is this star anise, which has a kind of licorice flavor, which I don't wanna scare people away with that because it sounds really weird. Like why would I be eating licorice with my chicken? But um, it's really, really tasty and it's in a lot of um, particularly like Asian broths. It's used not only in Chinese food, but also um, Vietnamese food. And if you've ever had pho, it's a key ingredient in, in that broth. And it's really, really, really good in this recipe. So those are just some things I wanted to highlight. I hope you have fun cooking with these ingredients and I hope you like the recipe. Bye.